Hello guys, FPS Killer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure MSI Afterburner. Okay guys, so some of you have been asking me how do I show the core usage, the graphics card usage, the temperatures and everything on the top left on my screen. So, first thing what you want to do is download MSI Afterburner from the main page, which is the latest one right now, the 4.1.0. And what you want to do is you want to open up MSI Afterburner after you've installed it. Mine's right here. And what you want to do now is you want to go in settings. And this is pretty important. What you want to go is in monitoring. And over here is going to show up all the things you can show up on your screen that are available. So first thing, if you want your GPU temperature to be showing up, what you want to do is just basically click on this checkbox, show in on-screen display. If you want to have your GPUs showing up, you just do exactly the same thing for that. And if you want your core clock showing up, you just do that. Memory clock. I'm just going to do my things that I use. There you go. If you want the frame rate, you just click on this little box so it allows it. And then you want to put showing on screen display. Now you want to do the CPU temperature if you want to do that. Now this is fairly easy, but some people got confused how to actually activate it, so... There you go, so I'm almost done. Alright, so I'm done. If you want, you can do a RAM usage and a page file usage if you want, but I don't use that stuff. And now I'm going to show you how to change the colour and the size of the text. So over here it will show up with the box. So what you want to do, if you want to change colour, you just click on this little icon right here. Normally it will be purple for you, but I've already changed it to yellow, so... Basically, I'm going to show up yellow, and over here you can maneuver around the FPS and all the numbers that are going to show up on your screen. And over here you can change your colour. As you can see, I put it to yellow, so it's really nice and visible. If you want to turn on the shadow on the back of your numbers, all you have to do is just click on on this. As you can see, it puts like a little shadow on the back, so you can see it better in like white backgrounds. And if you want to change the uh, size, all you want to do is just pull the slider up or down. And that's basically it guys for the video, so thanks for watching, please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, peace out.